Hey, yo, what up? So this woman stole her child's inheritance money from her dad that left. The... Let's watch the video. Do that. What you mean? Why would I do that? Did, it, did, did your daddy pass away? Did but that wasn't away? that wasn't that was not I don't did even he, have my birth certificate so you so that so you took my birth certificate did you did he ever pay child support and what you mean birth certificate didn't I have what you? does that got to do with me he left me money not you okay but he not you he never took care of you now first of all R.I.P. rest in peace to her father you know what I'm saying I don't know what type of father he was but let's just keep the video going my thing is this lady, you got nerve to say he never took care of you. So basically he's supposed, even though he passed away, he's supposed to take care of his daughter and you. Cause most of you black women, yeah, yeah. Most of you black women like to take advantage of what's taking place. You know what I'm saying? So the child is supposed to get child support, right? The child, the money's supposed to go on the child. Most of the time, it's going on the, it's going on the woman. She getting her hair done. She getting her nails done. You notice she got her hair and nails done, right? And she laying in the bed. Do you think that this woman is depressed or not? Are you serious right now? You gonna make it about you when he left it for his daughter? That is, give me the definition of selfish. Let's talk about the definition of selfish. I'm selfish. I want it all for myself, I swear. Like, dude, that, that goes out to you. That song should have been made in honor for you at this point. Lady, are you serious right now? Come on, you cannot be, that's not cool, man. It's not. This is what I be saying. Most of these women be opportunists. Soon as some money drop in their account, they forget about everybody else and start getting amnesia all of a sudden. Oh, it's about, I had to take care. No, you needed to take care of you. With somebody else's money? Are you serious right now? That's disrespectful. You have no respect for the deceased. Are you, let's keep the video going. So that was his payback for me. That was my payback that he's never gave me child support to take care of you or that your That has brother. nothing to do with me. What you mean it doesn't? Let I don't know why you think you can just work. take my money. It's not your money. It's not yours at all. It is my money. I had you. Now you see that? She feels like she is obligated to some money because she had her daughter. Are you serious right now? You're not obligated to nothing. That's what I was saying. Look, it is my money I had you. So if child support was involved, she would have thought the money was for her and not for the child. That's what I'm saying. Dude, dude they, there needs to be a way that child support is only made for the child. Because these women like to spend it on themselves, on some selfish grind. Come on, man, that's not cool. It's not. And then what you mean, like I said, what do you mean payback? What payback? What? Come on, ma'am. Are you serious right now? You are too. Ma'am, are you serious right now? How old are you, ma'am? Ma'am, how old are you? Are you holding grudges right now? You talking about payback? What what what? This is the world that we living in, dude. Dude, what we doing? What you doing, lady? Is not enough. It's just not. It's not okay. It's it's in my name. Okay, That's stealing. I gave you your name. That's stealing. What difference does it make if Jim Bob gave her her name? It don't matter. You took from out your daughter's mouth, and you don't feel no type of remorse for that. Are you serious right now? And then you wouldn't have been able to give her her name if it wasn't for the father. What are you not getting? This equation has nothing to do with you. Money plus daughter don't equal mother. Like, I don't understand why you mothers feel like you obligated for it. Dude, the money was not for you. It don't matter if he owed you a million dollars. You should have forgiven that debt when he deceased, when he passed on, 
You still holding grudges even after he gone? This is ridiculous, man. That's what I be saying. A lot of women and a lot of individuals need to get their life together. You still holding on to the past as if it matters today. Like, what does that have to do with her future? You just ruined somebody else's future because you thought what you had in mind was be was for the greater good. And it's like, dude, dude, the reason you... <laughs> Y'all in that situation because of you. What don't you understand about that? Like you just, you're sabotaging your relationship with your daughter for some money. Are you serious right now? We can't do that as people. We need to do things that empower one another and help people. You taking from another person, that's not okay. You took my birth certificate and claim insurance money. My inheritance. That's stealing. I had you with your father that passed away that didn't give me a single dime. Ma'am, you still trying to defend the fact? Let me just put this into perspective. Because you sitting here talking about inheritance money as if every year that went on during tax time you didn't file them children so that wasn't even enough for you that don't even make sense you filed your children for 17 years 18 years i don't get i don't care how many years it was you get to file them every single year and claim them every single year and yet and still you still want to take even after you got a job this is, the, I don't know if we understand the definition of greed, but women need to hold other women accountable for these things. They do, because a lot of you women are selfish, narcissistic individuals that think y'all are obligated to somebody else's money. Get your life together. I don't understand that. And it's always mostly a black woman. You trying to charge your child for rent. You trying to charge your child gas money to take them somewhere. As if you didn't bring them in this world. I'm not understanding that. Then you get then and then you get taxes for your child. Then you take your they inheritance money. You probably nine times out of ten never gave them an allowance. You never really showed them how to keep consistent money in their life. So it's like, dude, before they can even start with a fresh, before they even have a fresh start, you robbing them? Like, are you, oh my God, dude, something needs to happen. I just want to jump through the screen at this point. Like, dog, what, come on, man. This is not okay. It's not acceptable. Get your life together. Not one dime to help take care of you guys. So you're admitting to stealing, so you think that's okay I to steal? I'm not stealing. So what would you call it then? Taking some money that isn't yours or taking property that isn't yours that you weren't given permission to take. What would you call that? Would you call that borrowing? You just go five-figure discount? You just using... Come on, what are you... What would you call that? So if you went to somebody else and took their inheritance money that wouldn't be considered stealing it don't matter if it's from your child from your grandparents or from your left toe ma'am stealing is stealing i'm not understanding like dude stop trying to downplay what she talking about dude that hey what she doing is not enough man I, that's all I got to say at this point because this is frustrating just watching this.